So this is the ultimate 2021 guidebook to productivity applications. It's going to be all my own opinions and I'm going to share a few of my predictions and thoughts for the coming year. So let's start with bidirectional linking applications. Now, as we all know, Rome Research had a good year last year and I think they're set to have a good year coming up. With further fine tuning to their application and expansion efforts with the API, I think there'll be a fair few applications from third parties being built within Rome. But the real one to look out for, I think, is Obsidian. Now, Obsidian are actually adding their mobile applications very soon, which is crazy. So you'll be able to access on Android and iOS, which is pretty cool. And the great thing about Obsidian, the barrier to entry for bidirectional linking, is that it is free and easy to use. Now, if you're someone that isn't going to be interested in getting some of this advanced bidirectional linking, I definitely think applications like Hypernote and Remnote will attempt to mainstream and simplify bidirectional linking with their clean user interfaces and fairly understandable navigation. But this is only for the hobbyists at the moment, or will it be for the masses? In 2021, we'll get to see whether this becomes a popular or mainstream application and whether bidirectional linking goes to the next level. So moving on to project managers, tools like ClickUp and Monday present a real threat to the way of project management like uh, when it comes to the software space. For years, specialist applications have been at the forefront of the project management space. But with the speed of releases from apps like these, new features coming in thick and fast for all types of flexible work. In the meantime, Notion continues to make headway with teams looking to manage their information in the wiki revolution, splitting many into two camps, project management apps and wikis. And what's exciting as well, with application like Asana and Trello getting a boot from this speed of innovation. This space does look exciting as they all compete to add features to their toolkit. It's definitely going to be a little bit trickier with project management applications this year because there's gonna be a huge growth in learning them and trying to customize them to each team's needs as they become more customizable. So moving on to note-taking applications, Evernote carry on releasing their calendar with Home earlier this year and a map ahead of future updates and new features. With their bug crushing still in the works, it's been a long year for them, convincing long-time users to stick around for new features while polishing off their foundations. But if they can, for traditional note-taking, Evernote will be the go-to option in my opinion. For the masses, Notion jumps in as the all-in-one tool that people adore. And with their public API coming soon, this could open a world of Notion marketplace applications to help people get more done in the application. 2021 will be particularly important for Notion to convince those following along that they're still innovating and they're moving as fast as they did, a very crucial year for them. When it comes to calendar applications, there's gonna be a huge shakeup in 2021. With the introduction of Daybridge, which is set to be released, Woven could be dethroned as the major new application of choice. Now with Daybridge's focus on integrations and a sunrise feel application that people have yearned for for years, Woven is going to have a real challenger in the year ahead. Aside from that, I see calendar applications combining more with focus apps later this year. Now, obviously I've left task management a little bit later in this video, but applications like Todoist, Things3, and TickTick, I think will have the hardest hit in this year. With applications presenting themselves with more hats, USPs of these applications will come into play. For example, if Todoist made a suite of applications, e.g. a note taker as well. This might drive people to stay longer. We've seen this with applications like Zenkit, releasing not just a to-do, but a note taker as well, which really tries to allow people to stay there longer with those specific applications. But the basic nature of just to-do list application is coming under pressure from apps like Notion and personal project management applications with a constant array of features. Now for the general community and mass market, I don't see this changing. But for those who have been using to-do list applications for so long, I think we'll definitely see a depreciation in the to-do list application market in 2021. Now, the real big changer, and to round this off, in my opinion, I think 
Focus applications will be the 2021 key market of growth. These applications that help us produce deep work at home or at work will win the market this year. As we look at ones that bring together the most stuff and do the most abilities, it can sometimes be the ones that actually help you do what's important and what matters and allow you to focus that may potentially win. And I think with so much noise out there, especially with consumption and media, I think we almost need these focus applications to start coming into play. And although obviously the market is slowly growing with these spaces, I don't think it would just be Pomodoro applications, I think it'll be apps like Make Time that help us to really analyze and really focus on uh, what matters in our workday. So a very exciting year ahead. Overall, when it comes to bidirectional linking, I think that will be the make or break time for that space, whether it becomes a generalist experience or still the hobbyists out of us. I think project management applications will continue to grow, but it will be a very difficult decision between wikis and project managers, and that will be a very big dilemma for a lot of people. When it comes to note taking, I think apps like Evernote will continue to grow, uh, continue to add features, and gain back a lot of trust that they've lost over the couple of years. But I definitely think Notion uh, will have the hardest year of all to try and understand whether they are Evernote in 2015 or whether they are you know, a very innovative company that will grow and continue to innovate. And I definitely think the calendar space will have the big shakeup that it potentially needs, which will be exciting. Task managers under threat as well, I think, this year and focus apps on the rise. So definitely an interesting year ahead. So guys, hopefully you enjoyed that. I'd really love to hear your opinions in the comments below. So feel free to pop them there. And hopefully this was an insightful um, sort of insight into the next year ahead, in my opinion. Anyway, guys, thank you so much. Please do make sure to subscribe and I'll talk to you all very soon. Cheerio.